Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Tuesday. I'm a little bit early this week. Today's actually like our Friday. <laughs> so um, I am getting ready to head out. I have on just a Zara dress, and um, I don't know why I'm doing my outfit first, but anyway, I guess because I just put this on. This is my, um, is it the Couples? It's the Moto that is actually like a, it's a fabric. I love it. And um, I put my Chanel pin on it today because I like that it's not going to hurt it. Like a leather jacket, it's because it's fabric, I can put this on there. And um, so, and I've seen another pin that I'm probably going to get soon. I don't know if I want to tell you about it or not. I might want to make it a surprise, but anyway. And um, I just love this. And it's got kind of like a fuzzy inside, but um, today is wax day. So I have to wear something kind of, um, I feel like I have to wear something kind of easy, you know, you know what I mean. So today I was going to, and here comes Chanel, do some gift ideas for men. And I wanted to go ahead and do this so I could get it out before the Black Friday sales. And I know a lot of you are so good and you've already started Christmas shopping. That is not even on my rate, well, it is on my radar, but I haven't done it yet. So, um, but I've been thinking and I've made a list. I've been kind of keeping a list going and um, I thought I would um, do gift ideas for men. Okay, now if you have uh, stylish men or metrosexual men, then you can get them clothes and stuff like that and they probably love it. In my family or in, you know, in my world, I have major men, like testosterone men, traditional or whatever. <laughs> and so they are like children. They're just like big kids. And you know how kids are. They don't want clothes. They don't want anything that they need, even if they really need it. Like John can really need um, t-shirts or work shirts or something like that and that does not thrill him like if you give him something that is a, like a toy. They want toys. So I was just thinking of some things that I have done and not all of these are like that but you'll see how they kind of go with that kid aspect. Okay the first one is um, this is good if any of the men in your family have cars or trucks that they, you know, love and that they love to keep all cleaned up. A month car wash or even a year car wash. I know the car wash that I go to, they do a month unlimited with the, you know, it's the one that I get where it's vacuum inside, clean the outside, and um, tire shine or whatever. And it's like $220 for a month but that's unlimited. So someone like me that has a black car or like my dad has a black truck, that is worth a lot because you know, you can really use it a lot. So, um, and then like my brother has given me a year before and that was really neat. So, goodness. So um, you could do that. Okay, this is something that I do all the time. Well, I've done it recently and it is a hit. I mean, they love it and that is sunglasses. Nice sunglasses like Maui Jim. There's something about Maui Jim sunglasses that the polarization is so good. And there are some that are, you know, regular and then there's some that are really, really light. Like um, last, I think for my dad's, I don't know if it was for his birthday or for Father's Day because they're right there together. I got him some new Maui Jim sunglasses and they're the ones that are really good for driving and he loves them. They're really, really light and he has told me, I don't know how many times, how much he loves those sunglasses and he is so hard to buy for. I mean, because everybody in my family, we're blessed and we pretty much, you know, pamper ourselves and you know, so you, it's not like, you know what I mean? It's, you know, it's hard to find them a gift. And I'm sure you have people like that in your family too. And um, so he really, really loves those. And then if you have a fisherman in your family, I know the Costa Del Mars are really good for fishing. And so I've given away both of those sunglasses and men love them. Like um, I've given John the Costa Del Mar for the beach and he loves them. And then I 
Um, I think for Father's Day, I got him a pair of Aviator, a nice, really good looking pair of Aviator Maui gems, and they look so good on him. If I can find a picture, I will put it in here because they just look really, really good on him. So sunglasses are always a hit for men and women. And so is the car wash, but I'm just focusing on like hard to buy people. Okay, um, I just saw one of these at Urban Outfitters on sale, but Yeti coolers. And I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, that it's Y-E-T-T-I. It's like a real high dollar cooler. And um, they got popular a couple years ago, probably three years ago. And we gave, my brother gave my dad, no, my dad gave my brother a big one. And then we both gave my dad like the Yeti cooler cup. But one I thought is neat is called the Yeti Ro Roadie. And it is a small cooler that you can just put in the car. Like if you're going on a road trip or just to have drinks with you. Or it's just a small cooler. Like if you wanted to take it to a game. Um, just any type of event. Like going over to someone's house. I know John likes to take his beer sometimes in a little cooler. That way he doesn't have to put it in someone's refrigerator. He can kind of set it outside or on the deck or something and have his own beer right there. Um, so that a Yeti cooler would be a great gift in any form because they're expensive, they're really nice and they're expensive and it might be something that they wouldn't buy themselves. And so I think that's a really good gift. Okay, this one, <laughs> flashlights. Men love flashlights and it seems like, you know, there you always need one and there's never one around. And they love all types of flashlights, like the big mag light, the small mag lights. There's just all kinds of flashlights that you can get. And one year, a friend of mine told me about a flashlight that she got her, I think she got her dad or her um, husband. And it's these, um, you get them at Batteries Plus, and I'm sure you can probably get them at other places now. But it was like a police, um, it's like a laser type police flashlight. It's small, but it had a really, really strong, you know, um, I'll tell you how strong it was. It, a really, really strong, you know, beam or whatever. So strong that when I got my dad this, Brooke was a baby. Not a baby, but probably like two or three. And that was when I was still cleaning my parents' house every week, every Thursday. I think I used to clean it. And um, Brooke was playing with it. And my parents had just gotten new carpet in their bedroom. And I was letting Brooke play with it while I was cleaning. And she just turned it upside down and set it on the floor. It burnt a hole all the way through their carpet. And it actually burnt the top off of the flashlight. And I was able to replace it. I wasn't able to replace that carpet, but my mom was, you know, we're cool about stuff like that. Luckily, it was in the closet. So they are very strong, but they're really neat. And men just love, you know, stuff like that. Another thing that I've gotten my dad before, and he doesn't use them all the time, but he did think they were neat. And he does have them and use them sometimes. He uses them on the boat. I thought I cut that down. Okay. And um, binoculars. A nice little set of binoculars. And um, I just thought of those when I was doing the flashlight. But I got him a small pair. I think I got them from, what's the big, uh, the sports store. <laughs> That's how sporty I am. You know, the big sports store. I can't remember what it's called now, but I had gotten them from there and I got them in the hunting section. And um, we've actually taken them to the beach. Um, <clears throat> like if they fish, if they do anything, but they're kind of like a big grown man's toy anyway. So binoculars. Okay. Um, then we're getting into another thing that I... This is, I thought about this, um, I think last week, and I can remember I was pulling into Zaxby's to get my salad, and there was an ad on the radio, and I believe it was for um, Bowl and Branch sheets. And I bought my dad and my mom, but I bought them, it was my dad's birthday or Father's Day, 
the Bolin Branch sheets that are always advertised on the radio. I don't know if you guys have heard them. If you don't, if you don't listen to talk radio or the news or something like me, you might not have. But they're really, really nice, nice sheets. And my mom said when you get in them, she said it's kind of like you just slide in them and they're just like, they're so soft and they're really nice. And the presentation, when they come, they're just packaged beautifully. And um, they love them. And what I was, they are a little bit expensive, so it's something that maybe someone wouldn't get themselves, but it's still a good gift. And what's neat about it is men are like kids. They are curious about things that they hear on the radio. Like as seen on TV, a lot of times I'll tell mom to just get Will a bunch of stuff that's as seen on TV, like the cups and the, uh, like a bunch of the cooking stuff and stuff like that, and he loves it. And so with that, um, I was going to tell you about some other things that I think men would like that are as seen on TV, and that is the Tac Light Lantern. It's this new lantern now that's on TV that is like a light lantern, and it's just good. You know, men are always working on stuff, or, you know, it's good when the lights go out. Here we have hurricanes, so we always need, like, backup, you know, lighting and stuff like that. Um, and they just like them. They just love flashlights and lanterns and stuff like that. So I wanted to tell you about that one. Simply Safe is a home security system. They advertise it a lot on TV and on the radio. And I also got that from my parents. And what's neat about it is you call them and you tell them, um, I think you count how many windows you have and doors and the square foot of your house and stuff like that. And what it is, it's a really nice very effective alarm system for your house that you do not have to wire. If anyone breaks in, it immediately calls the police, um, sounds the alarm, all that kind of stuff. It's very high rated and it's really good because you, and it's good for apartments because it's temporary. You can take them off, put them on, and it's not something you have to install permanently, but they're very, very effective. So simply safe. Okay, along with that, this is something that we have and we have enjoyed so much is the Ring Doorbell. And I know they also have the Ring Floodlights. We're thinking about getting those. Matter of fact, I might um, think about that for John for Christmas because I think that he loves the Ring Doorbell. Another thing that John loves, he talks about it all the time. I've mentioned this to you guys before. My parents, my dad got one and loved it, and he gave one to John last year. And when John got it, I think he thought, oh, whatever. But it's a blower, and it's cordless. It's not gas or cord, but it is a battery powered. It sits on a charger and it's a really, really light, but really strong blower. And he keeps it in the garage, just sitting on the charger. And John blows out our garage every day now. Um, he blows out the garage. He'll blow off, you know, the driveway. We have so many leaves. And um, he'll go sometimes blow off the back porch. I blow off the backyard a little bit for Bridget to go potty. And, I mean, does it in no time. He doesn't have to lug a big heavy thing around. It's, matter of fact, sometimes I'll sweep off the back porch and he'll tell me, don't do that. I can blow it off so quick. And um, he just loves it. And he, every time he uses it, he says he cannot believe how much he loves that blower. How much better it is than all the other ones he's has, had before. So, I will get the exact name of it and put the link down below because they love it. Okay. Um, I've already said the Bowling Branch sheets. This is funny. This is one of the last things that I got my dad. And he didn't like it as much because he likes a um, thicker, firmer pillow. But I got him the Casper pillow. You know how you always hear about the Casper mattress? You hear about it on the radio and you see it on TV. It's that mattress that comes in a box. And then you, so you can get them upstairs and all these weird places. And then once you unbox them, they, you know, grow into this full mattress, and they also make pillows, and I believe it was like, I think it was like $100 for the pillow, but I thought my dad would get a kick out of it, and he was. He was happy to get it. It's just that he ended up um, liking his other pillow he has, which is really a cushion that he uses as a pillow, 
but my mom loves the Casper pillow and she keeps it on her sofa that sometimes she'll take the, in the front of the house where sometimes she'll take a nap or my niece will take a nap. And she says that she loves it because it's firm, but it's squishy. It's a yummy pillow. And so I think I'm going to actually order one of those for myself soon. And um, my parents also, I've got them the My Pillow, and they like that too. So My Pillow would be another one. But I feel like most of you have probably tried the My Pillow already. The Casper Pillow is, I guess, more of a novelty now because it's not in the store. So, um, Let's see. Oh, I wrote down this too. Untuck it. Those shirts that they advertise that are the perfect length for a man to wear and not have to tuck in, but yet they look put together and it's called Untuck It. I haven't gotten one of those, but that's on my radar to maybe get John. I think he might enjoy one of those shirts. So I had written that down too. So I probably will have some additions to this. And if I do, then I'll just tell you as I go. But I just thought I would do this because I know men are the hardest and um, especially teenagers. Um, like when, I, when John's nephews were young, a lot of times what I would get them is gas cards. They always love to get like a gas card. And then when I went to go see Sheila, her two boys, I did not know what the heck to get them. So I bought them both a thing of my favorite gum, the Mentos um, Spearmint Gum, and I got them each an iTunes card, and they loved it. So that's something good to get, you know, um, for teenage boys. Like if you don't know what to get them, iTunes card they can always use. Or if they're a gamer, like Will, Will loves to get the, I'm never gonna remember, what is the name of that card? Oh, I'll put the name of it down below. Oh, Steam, Steam card. They love that. Um, and gas cards. And um, that is another good gift idea for teachers is a lot of times for teachers, I'll get movie cards, you know, for two people to be able to go to the movie and get popcorn and stuff like that. I think that's a nice treat for a teacher. Um, I get coffee cards to the Starbucks or here we have Port City Java. A lot of times I'll get that. Um, and if the teacher is, if I can tell she likes makeup and hair and stuff like that, I've gotten Ulta cards before. I've gotten Sephora cards. And then sometimes I'll even get them like a MAC lip gloss and my favorite nail polish or something like that. Just to throw some more gift ideas out there. And um, so anyway, I hope that helps you some. And um, I'm getting kind of excited. You know, I'm a Scrooge. I'm not a Scrooge. It's not that I don't love Christmas. It's just hard for me. It stresses me out. And, um, Friday, I will probably do a video. I don't know if I'll be able to do it downstairs yet, but I'll try. And um, so I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. That's Thursday. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful time with your family. And um, I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for this country. I'm thankful for God, my family. I'm just thankful for you guys. I'm just thankful for this life. And um, have a great week, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>